Hello everyone, Vita Zay Free to hear back again from our deck This is the Orchestra from Riffle Suffle recently released by them. I think it's still available on the website. Last I checked, at least at the time of recording this video on Easter weekend. So you know when I record this. <laughs> Guess why not? I will have another review up alongside this one of another release they just had as of yesterday, the Twisters decks. Let's look for that as well. And that one is from Organic Playing Cards. This one is designed by Dario Genuardi, who's done a number of decks for Riffle Suffle. Um, such as, I, I do believe, the Surf decks, the Soundboards, I believe. It's either the Soundboards or the Skate ones. I don't remember which one for Sir. But the Surf ones, I know for Sir. The, these Night ones, I forget the full name. The, there's, there's a number of decks he's designed. True Riffle Suffle. Um, but this one is Orchestra. It says Orchestra Point Card. It's got a musical theme. It says RiffleSuffle.com. You see the conductor on the front of the box. And there is a little bit of uh, letter pressing on this tuck case. It's kind of a weird stock. It says distributed by Riffle Suffle, made in Taiwan. That explains it. <laughs> orchestra Point Cards on the other side. Again, the top Orchestra. Add copy on the bottom. There's 2,500 produced. First edition, it says, because there's probably going to be a second edition, right? There always is when they say first edition. Actually, almost always, you see first edition on uh, uh, you see first edition on a lot of decks, and rarely do you actually see a second edition. So, I don't know why they even bother to put that on there, but it is what it is. Special thanks to Kim and Zhang and Tony Snimak. Hopefully, I'm reading that correctly. There's Nuradi. And in the back, which again has a little bit of like a letter press to it, very subtle. And again, you can see the tuck case has mm, kind of just feels like a standard stock, I guess. But you see the back design, very nice musical instruments, violins and horns and trumpets and all sorts of stuff. No seal, but there is a musical note on the flap. And then here as well, and the whole inside actually has musical notes. And there's something to that. These musical notes you see there, which you also see on these two cards, are for the song Magic. Do you believe in magic? No, it's not that song. <laughs> this is actually from the musical Joker's Game, which I've never heard of. Created by Tony Stimak and Kevin Zane, so that explains why their name is on there. And uh, unfortunately, I don't play music. Otherwise, I would probably play that, but <laughs> I don't, so... Not gonna happen, unfortunately, but I think that's a really cool idea. That is uh, a nice little thing to include. Of course, this deck is all about music and instruments, so you see some musicians on the Jokers. Really interesting art style. It says the Joker, and she's playing the oil symbol. There's the conductor on the Ace of Spades, makes sense. All the pips are kind of half black half gold on these ones and um yeah gold cards just musicians all sorts of musicians these ones are half red and half gold as you can see drums i actually had a minor ambition of becoming a drummer when i was a kid didn't happen. Uh, long story short, I was in elementary. I used to drum a lot on my books, on my desk at school, and and whatnot. And it's kind of, you know, suggested I should maybe look at the drumming. So when I went with my parents to the junior high for, you know, the first look at the junior high, and my dad inquired about that, and they're like, "Oh well, we already have a drummer." There goes my ambition <laughs> down the drain. So, could have been a drummer, but they're like, nope, we already have one. So, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know if it would have worked out for me. But anyways, still, sometimes I will drum on stuff when I'm bored, I guess. Overall, it's a nice deck. Here's the back design. Just like the tough case. With all the instruments. All sorts of stuff in there. It's nicely detailed. Musical notes. Really cool. Uh, quality. Eh. 
It is printed my Taiwan playing cards. Now, I haven't played with it, so I haven't broken it in, so maybe that's the issue. It is printed on the legendary stock, and it does have a linen finish. Whatever kind of finish it is, to be exact. Uh, overall, though, really nice deck. Let's see if I can get this to work. Uh, it's not bad. It spreads. And, yeah, it just needs to be broken. I can feel like it's, uh... Can you hear that? It's clicking. It just, it kind of needs to be broken in. But, overall, it's not bad. I'm going to give this one a solid A. It would probably be an A+, plus if the handling was a little bit better. If it was put by USB-C, it would be an A+, plus. but they went with t uh, Taiwan playing cards. Maybe it's cheaper. I don't know. Overall, pretty nice deck. I like it. Check it out. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching. Have a musical day. <laughs>